Anybody fancy anything from the canteen? <laughs> Just give us a shout if you need a hand. Ten on the big guy. <laughs> Why doesn't somebody just get Krieger? Because we don't have a bloody Krieger. Yes, you have. I want Krieger! I want Krieger! Mr. Krieger! I want this Mr. Krieger! I want this Mr. Krieger! Cyril! Cyril! You're scaring a lot of people, man. You want to just calm down? Five deep breaths. Three. <laughs> they said you weren't here. Well, they should know better. They know now. Oh. Let's grab a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, decaf might be an idea. It's like, uh, all over the place. Uh, and then here. Everywhere. And then straight in front of me. And it's really dark. And I get frightened. Really, really black. Dark or black? I get frightened. I get pushed out of the way. Because I don't mean anything. I'm just trying to see. Does someone die? Yeah. Is it a murder? And you're watching? Not with my own eyes. I've seen it through the clouds. You're worn out, Cyril. You've had a haircut. Oh, why? Right. <laughs> I did it myself. Looks brilliant. Could you show me friend the way out, please? Uh, this lady will take you downstairs. Uh, don't touch her breasts. She won't understand. You'll be fine. Look after yourself. What was that all about? That, that, that was Cyril Golding. Nostradamus of the underworld. Yes, it's D.I. Dave Cregan. I'm new in. I'm on extension 2161 if anybody needs to get through. Thanks. So he snouts what? Some kind of psychic? Look, I pretend I can do shorthand, Cyril. He pretends he's a psychic. Yes. Wow, good luck to you. Do you want to tell me what you're doing in my office? You're a day early. That's a bad habit for a copper. Keen to make an impression. Oh, you've done that. Remind me never to put you on a dawn raid. I'm uh, sorry about this. Inspector David Cregan, Inspector Susan Taylor. You're sharing, by the way, till we can sort space out. Read this on the way down and uh, ring me when you get there. From? St Albans. You're reporting to CS Tony Beecham. He thinks you're already on your way. Right. Both of you.
obviously I'm a bit rusty on the rules. You'll, uh, you'll give us a nudge if I make any coddle. Uh, we're told to check in with CS Beach. I'm an inspector. You're an inspector. Enright never wastes resources. Why has he made his partners? He's trying to tell me something. Should he be telling you something? No, he bloody well shouldn't. My track record's impeccable. If you do say so yourself. Oh, I do. Good. Well, if you don't bring it up again, neither will I. Equal status, equal bullying. The two Ronnies. Commander Enright briefs you. <sighs> Child abduction. Kept track of the news on the other two. Same form, it's always busy, nobody saw anything, nobody heard anything, and it's a dedicated safe haven. Not your first port of call of your desperate, then. Unless you knew what you come for. You've obviously got your reasons for not bringing the OSC in sooner. Same age, all male. This one's Eddie Franklin, age seven. His mother was only there when he went. What the hell is going on? Number three is going on, Frank. I'm talking about this lot, assuming I've heard right. Are you handing this over to the OSC? You were asked to make contact This is with... my case. It is it's my number three, work, Frank. And, and you were instructed last week to make contact with the OSC. You told me you had. I faxed outlines. The brief we got at headquarters said for information only. about lad? Sorry, can I? Germany, February 94. There was an Interpol file flying round. Two kids abducted. He buried their shoes at the scene of the crime. What triggered us was the daffodil. The daffodil? It's December. It's plastic. Can we go back to the last two sites? You're all recruited from Cambridge, aren't you? Oxford. Durham. You're worse than the bleeding masons. Since when did it take a degree to catch Ian Brady? They didn't catch Ian Brady, he got turned in. We wouldn't be here unless we could help. Listen, sweetheart, I've been swimming down this lane 18 years, so don't play the double act with me, all right? I met Cregan this morning. I know as much about him as you do. Oh, I know about Cregan. I've checked you out. So don't come in here looking like the patron saint of how it's done. Are you refusing to cooperate? It's very grown up of you, Frank. Look, you come in here now and you clean this up. And that's my career. It depends how many times your name comes up on the final report, Frank. Now, I'll be fine in the report. Try charming me. I've spent 400 man hours on this. I wasted half the man hours because I missed half the bloody clue. Well, they know that, they're embarrassed. Jerry Casper was last seen here. <laughs> Carol, did you see anyone? <laughs> Are you aware of any single men who might have come near or walked past? Look, Eddie's a smart kid. He knows about nuts. He wouldn't have just gone off with somebody. We'll copy this and get it straight back to you, Carol. These are all repeat performance tapes. Anyone appearing in the park on more than one day or more than once in the same day. Now, I'm presuming the perp picked this spot, so he must have been on a recce previously. John, sorry, Jonathan Kreitman. Anorak of fire. He says he knows his keyboard like a woman. 
You see, I don't think he's ever had a woman, which is why he hammers it. How long do these tapes go back? I kept for a week and then recorded over. This is the most recent hundred hours. The rest are being sent up. So, go on, what are we looking at? Well, that's Mrs. Franklin and her friend. And that's Eddie. You got a clear shot of that. I've only got a school photo. That woman there, that, she's on both tapes. Yeah, she's in the park every day. I'm sick of the sight of her. She's a nanny for those two. Oh, that's a spliff, by the way. I reckon her and the kids deserve each other. But there is something else. Now concentrate, or you'll miss it. Back. Yellow Volvo? Correct. Yeah. Watch. Jerry Casper. 3 p.m. last Tuesday. Stephen Lord. 5 p.m. Saturday. Eddie Franklin. 9 yesterday morning. All of them were marked by the presence of the artificial flowers. The only other forensics identified were in the woodland areas. They were weeks or months old. Mostly inimitable. Sorry. 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 I think I found something. <sighs> Apologies to uh, anyone I haven't tuned in today. <clears throat> this is D.I. Dave Cregan, new to us, but uh, very lived in. We worked at Devas Street together. He helped me plan the OSC two years back before he went on a sabbatical. Um, well, I'll, I'll let him speak for himself. Yeah. These are all um, suspects and witnesses from the South Hearts team's files, including a voluntary witness statement by this man. Ronald Hinks. He was in the shopping precinct when Jerry Casper got lifted. He gave average corroborated information, a cup of tea for his trouble. He was sent home. This car is registered to Ronald Hinks. Seen here at Greenwich Park the day Eddie Franklin disappeared. Also the day before. Who's duty lawyer? Here. Right, Steve, get us an arrest and search for this guy's house. Crichton Rivers, you're with Cregan and Taylor. Our liaise with South Hearts to make sure they're not losing their shopping because we need them on our side. I haven't finished. All right. Stuttgart, Germany, February 94. Two identical abductions. The flowers marking the shoes, marking the scenes of the crime where the bodies eventually turned up. Bodies? The victims were both found at their original vanishing scenes in plastic bags. All suffocated. Professor Ronald Hinks, 56. Geneticist working for Kessler UK. Kessler UK is owned by a Swiss pharmaceutical company. One of Kessler's branches is in Stuttgart. Hinks worked in Stuttgart, 93 to 94. So why stall arresting him? He's not gonna talk, he's made himself visible. You think he wants to be caught? I think he wants to be chased. There's three roads to the park. Picks the only one on camera. Just on camera. There's no reason he should know it from that distance. He's been planning this for years. He's not going to make any mistakes. Marion. It's a double-edged sword. On the one hand, and by the way, welcome to OSC. On the one hand, the flowers and the shoes are obviously compulsive signatures. If he's throwing down the gauntlet, he's expecting a battle. If he's expecting a battle, he's more prepared than we are. It's highly unlikely they're still alive. But whether... I'm sorry, um, Marion's our psychologist. Get away. But whether they are or not, I'd have serious reservations about leaving him on the street. What are you suggesting? Let's disappoint him.
Ronald Hinks. Henry, be quiet. Correct. You called a dog, Henry. Is this concerning my statement? Yeah, I know it's a bit boring, but uh, we need to go over a couple of contradictions. Really? Now, oh, please come in. No stone unturned. <coughs> you know, Elliot Ness. I thought I gave an accurate description. Uh, no, it's tedious that we need to go over that description again. Just tell him he's not going to bite your head off. We mislaid your statement. And the boss is asking for details. It's my fault. She can't find it. I see. Well, uh, light brown hair. Early 20s, average height. One of the great unwashed. He looked quite on edge. And the only time we connected eyes, he looked quite hostile. Well, that's brilliant, Professor. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. Henry, be quiet. Where can we contact you in working hours? You know I'm a professor, but you don't know where I work. Uh, you'd have been cross-checked on the IR register. It's, um, it's a formality. I see. Well, Parminster Moor, the Kessler building at the university. The Sistine Chapel's brilliant. Sorry? I have an allergy to words like brilliant and fabulous. Students use them. Uh, you like Cluster, by the way. It's not brilliant. It's busted, in fact. Could get stopped for that. Yes, of course. I overshot a bollard at work. I've been meaning to book it in for a fortnight. Thanks again. to see his face when he lied. It's him. He's got a dog, so don't get too close to the house. When he moves, you follow him. OK. How you doing? Oh, God, sorry. Where are we? Uh, this is where I get out. Just left Langham Lane. All clear. What are you waiting for? The locksmith stuck in traffic.
down. Hinks is coming back to the house. Repeat. Hinks is coming back to the house. Get out now. Shit. Get out of the house. What's happening? House is clean. Morning. I think Cregan's adjusting. Well, he's adjusting. Ask me how I'm doing when I've caught up. I wouldn't sell you a turkey, you know. That's holding me together, sir. I owe you a drink. One I can swim in. Come on, love a cow, don't hang on to its milk that long. <laughs> you smell gorgeous for a cleaner. You want to show us what you can do with your marigolds? Oh, no, don't scare yourself, Rivers. <laughs> Scum wash your hands, you perv. Oh, how can anyone doubt the men lack direction when all their toilets smell like this? I don't like where you work. You're getting upset because it gave you a hard time. I'm investigating the disappearance of three kids. What can you give me? They're gonna die. But they're not dead. Cyril, those murders you saw when you came to my office, was it these? I saw it. Yeah? Through the clouds. Yes, but was it these? I don't know. Could I have a pudding? Cregan! Can you fly? As in. Tiresome, repetitive work has to be done. Thankfully, not by me these days. Uh, hands up anyone who's had a vaccine. Well, I think if you asked your parents, you'd find that you had. The animals here serve a purpose. That purpose is to provide a means of testing human formulae before it's released onto the market. They're the barrier between you, me, and untried science. But the animals are all very well treated, aren't they, Professor Hinks? Well, we make them very comfortable, yes, but many of them have to be killed. Come on. What we're mainly focusing on here is the most basic human structure. Can anyone tell me what that is? The heart, sir. Crucial, yes. But this is something even more fundamental to life than that. DNA, sir? Correct. Uh, you know what these initials stand for? Come on, we talked about this last Thursday. 
Deoxyribonucleic acid, sir. Jurassic Park, sir. Very good. He's the one to stick with. He knows all the answers. He does the school magazine. Ah, is it any good? He's a prick, sir. <laughs> Mark Volker and Christian Mann. They were abducted four days apart. Some of us saw that as significant, some didn't. It was never resolved. Please, will you tell the families we're grateful for their help? Uh, we'll do all we can. The only hope they have now is that you will show them their children's killer. Any way of tracking down Hughes' accommodation in Stuttgart? Oh, we've arranged that. Used to be leased to Kessler International. Ich habe das Haus in 1995 gekauft. Aber diese Sachen, was man da über diese Menschen, sage ich nichts übel nach. Aber diese Firmen, internationale Firmen, die benehmen sich wie die Blutsau. Wie die Räuberbanden. Nur was ist denn? Ihr Vorgemieter war Herr Hinks, der Engländer? Das stimmt, ja. Der war so groß im Aufräumen wie eine Frau. Das ist nicht immer hier dreckig. Jeden Freitag wird sauber gemacht. Jeden Freitag ist wunderbar. Da kann man zum Fußschulen Mittagessen. Wo, 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 wo? Do you mind if we shut the garage door? Craig, yep. I'm allergic to cats. You got me standing cat shit. Why am I letting you do this to me? this trouble. You would not make a place like this if all you were going to do is kill them. I think they're still alive. Look, OSC get the same holiday as regular coppers. They tell you to say that, do they? So what's this eight weeks training leave all about? Eight weeks training? Crap. My training for this bit lasted about 15 minutes. Well, it shows. What's that supposed to mean? You eat with your mouth open and your feet stink. Piss off. He led us here. With that much evidence, he led us to his house. Mm. To a clean house. Exactly like his other house. And if Frau Locker's steam clean that garage once a week for the last four years, we're not going to find any admissible samples there. I know. Happy birthday, by the way. How do you know it's my birthday? The same way you know I work in special branch. I got your file out. Cheers. Well, if you talk more, I wouldn't have had to. Go on, then. I know you worked on Vice till you took a bullet through the head in a drugs raid. Twelve months sick leave. And there's a hole in your file. Psychiatric leave. Postgrad in criminology. Got an MPhil. So, if you wanted to pull rank, you could waive your certificates. Which would be very cheap and very vulgar. But I wouldn't put it past me. Enright drove up to see me in August. He asked me to come work for your lot. Obviously a fan. I was hoping I will be. You're not. Do you care? 
do you? You're not my type, if that's the question. It wasn't. Fine. What is your type? For the record. <clears throat> Younger than you, with bigger muscles and no qualifications whatsoever. Fine. So it took you from August to get here? I was looking for something I could do without having to answer to everybody else. My ideal job is selling ice cream. You drive the van yourself, you mix the ingredients yourself. And the only complication is a greedy fat kid wanting more 99s than you've got flakes for. Either way, it's one-to-one. -one. I focus best on one-to-one. -one. You joined a team. We are a team, Quigan. On the original autopsy, traces of a chemical were found in the blood of Mark Falker, an anaesthetic. What about Christian Mann? Well, Christian was never tested. Mark had had a tooth extracted at the dentist the evening before he was abducted, which explained the presence of halosane. Today they've screened Christian's blood and found faint traces of the same. If they were injected, it explains why they never showed it for their mums. Mrs. Franklin said there was no way Eddie would go for the stranger. We were abducted four days apart. How long after the second abduction were they murdered? Six days. Our last abduction was four days ago. They are still alive. Thanks. Thank you. Good luck! On his way into work. Yeah, we're tracking him along the A44. Don't be subtle. Take the door off. I'm still waiting on a warrant. Don't worry, I've got it. I'm looking at it now. Take it down to the brickwork, Frank. Recognize any of these, Professor? Or these? What's wrong? Are we working too fast for you? Get out the car. Get out the car! This is Professor Hinks. I need to speak to the legal department urgently. I don't know. I'm being arrested. It's all very bizarre. His room's on this floor. If you don't give me an answer fast, you can whistle for the keys. Hey! What? OK, I need an inventory of all chemical substances brought into the building over the past 12 months, specifically psychoactive or sedative substances. I need any clothing, gloves, footwear, headgear, whatever the professor... Are you might... completely bloody deaf? Dean Martin, singer. Dean Saunders, centre forward. Dean of medicine. Remind me. got on the score or just picked up some bad habits while you were out of action. But I think you should relax a bit. 
Is that right? Well, he's not exactly throwing evidence at us, is he? Any mistakes on our part, we lose points in court. And what mistakes have I made? You forced a suspect out of his car at gunpoint. That could trip us up in court. And that's a DC talking to an inspector. Where did your bad habits come from, Rivers? Any mistakes should be his. We will get it. OK, point taken. And it's not cool to pull rank anymore. And it means you've got to buy the drinks. Obviously, all the victims have similarities. Age, hair colour, eye colour. So we're not looking at generic paedophilia. The image is very specific. And there was no evidence of sexual violation with either of the German kids. So he's not a paedophile. Or if he is, he shows remarkable restraint. We could be looking at some kind of manifestation of grief. Something platonic. Friend, brother, father. Now, Hinks is an only child. Never been married. And both his parents are alive and kicking in Tunbridge Wells. That isn't a contradiction in terms. Um, I need a bit more than this, Marion. Do you want to try again? It could have been the early death of a relative, a school friend. Could have been the early death of his hamster. What I need are triggers to get him talking. If you have an allergy to psychologists, I suggest you get that looked at. Is there anywhere I could get some food? There's a canteen on the second floor, Marion. She's as good as the rest of us. You knock her, you knock us. Which reflects on you. Absolutely nothing. The only prince in that house belonged to him. The dogs have been walked till their knackers dropped off. We've interviewed 150 residents and regulars to a mile radius, including the estate up the road. They've seen nothing, they've heard nothing. Your warrant for the file. Yeah, this wasn't signed till 10 o'clock. Your watch is slow. The only drugs that pass for anesthetics aren't controlled by Hinks. If he'd removed that kind of stuff from the labs, there's a triple signature procedure. Yeah, but he's in charge of the program. Could have dodged the books. He'd still only get access to enough gear to knock a rat out. It's nowhere near enough to sedate a human, even a small one. Well, for a crack team, you've slipped in your own shit fast enough. You've commissioned more man hours in two days than we've spent in two weeks. But we've delivered, Doland. You haven't had a single sniff of the bloody victims. And very soon you won't have a suspect much longer. Have you seen who he's got for a brief? Peter Lister. Kessler have just flown him in from Belgium. His chauffeur is in the canteen. So even with evidence, he'd piss you out of court. And you've got nothing. I'm struggling to understand why that should make you smile, Frank. I could smile with that much scotch inside me before breakfast. Do you want to say that again, you little shit? I could smile Rivers. with that much... move. Ronald, you're obviously not going to qualify for legal aid on your salary, but... Uh, Mr Lister is a very expensive brief. Have you got that kind of money? Don't have to answer that. Do universities pay that kind of money these days? 
Have I missed a revolution? I represent Kessler, UK. I see. On record that Mr. Hinks doesn't actually work for the university, he works for Kessler, UK at the university. And on record that the bill for Mr. Hinks's defence has been footed by said Kessler, UK. You have no case to make. My client strenuously denies all charges laid against him, and you have no evidence whatsoever. How long you work for Kessler, Peter? Oh, really, this is... Far back as 94? Yes. Stuttgart. Did you work in Stuttgart? Indeed I did. So you were there about the same time he was. About the same time two boys were abducted in identical circumstances. Both found dead six days later. Were you his brief then, Mr. Lister? That's a very crass accusation. It's not an accusation. It is three questions. Three pieces of information. Were you interviewed at all in connection with those crimes, Ronald? Briefly, as a witness. As a witness? And were you his brief during this piece of history, Mr. Lister? I was not. Oh, no, that's right. It was another brief paid for by Kessler International. I don't know what connection you're trying to make, but a voluntary statement made during an extensive police inquiry does not implicate me in any way in any crime whatsoever. I know. But it's twice you've done that, Ronald. So? Interview terminated 1653. Did you want to use the toilet? No. Now, please answer my question. Have you or have you not any reason to hold my client any longer? No. Where are those kids? Craig, and what if we've got all our resources pinned on the wrong guy? What if we can't find any evidence because there's none to find? You know, it's worrying me. Why isn't it worrying you? We can't find any evidence, so you presume it's not him. Why isn't it striking you that Hinks is bright enough to avoid us finding evidence? Because without more evidence, a conviction's a fantasy. Based on the fact that all you expect is a conviction. Hinks is a freak. He's an intelligent freak who credits himself with being in control of the facts. If all you're waiting for is evidence, and we've got three dead kids around the corner, Taylor. He did it. I think you better speak to Enright before we go any further. If we don't find them, and he lets them die, he won't be blaming himself. I will. And you need to stand back. We can't take responsibility for all of them, Cregan. Well, that's the only reason why I'm here. The responsibility is the only reason why I came back, Taylor. What are you here for? Come after you, the more we embarrass Kessler, the faster they start talking about your early retirement. It's their name they're looking after, Ron, not yours. I'm filing a report for wrongful arrest. You're welcome to add threatening behaviour to that. I'll send you the forms. The will dump you, Ronald. Because I'm not going anywhere. I'm in your face till we put you away. Then we'll grow old within sight of each other, won't we? Because quite frankly, I don't think you're up to your job. 